I'm Jeremy Beck and I am the choreographer and director of Commentary of Dreaming. Commentary of Dreaming is a new work currently in development. The development started at a research stage in Vienna as a part of Impulse Tarns. Um, I did a choreographic program called Atlas and I spent five weeks doing workshops and being mentored by an international dramaturg, Guy Cools. I spent a lot of time in the studio developing a bit of a movement language that I wanted to work with and kind of dreamt up some scenes. So Commentary of Dreaming is about the astrology concept Saturn Returns. It's representative of a time in your life where you go through a transitional stage. And it happens a few times, it's every 27 years, but the first one in particular that I'm focusing on is the transition into adulthood and the departure of youth. The work is situated in a intersection. I like to think there's one stationary lamppost that serves to be some sort of transitional point. It's not a destination, it's somewhere you move through. It's hard to language it as an event. You're condensing 27 years of your life into the events of one night at 3 a.m. on a Friday, on the street, in the cold, in Dunedin, and just how this all manifests in a, in a, in a flurry in front of you. Casting for this work, Chris, I've known Chris for a long time. He's really got something in his body and it was a very good decision to have him here because he's just been incredible. So I'm just trying to be a sponge at the moment and hopefully that also assists <laughs> with uh, the trajectory of what can happen. Costa I've known for a long time. Me and Costa were uh, dancers together in Footnote. It's nice now to finally have a chance to dance together on something, something of ours. Jemima and Kiki, I actually taught them at School of Dance in 2021 and um, it's nice to be working with them now in a professional capacity and dancing alongside them. The communication is super clear. Um, like we know where Jeremy is at. A task I've enjoyed getting to explore is in a solo I created, which was based off indulgence and pretty much just being in your present self in that time, but also everything is layering and overlapping and yeah constantly having something else in your mind at the same time but it's been really I think it's been challenging I think Jeremy's been challenging all of us as well as makers and creators while in the space to also find what how we're connected to the piece. I first worked with Benny in 2021 on a show. Someone suggested him to me and I saw his Instagram and just instantly liked his stuff. I gave him a very, very brief, like very ambiguous, this is what I'm making. And within the first round of tracks, there was one that just hit the nail on the head. You can listen to it and experience the whole emotion of the work almost, just in that track. Jeremy told me the show is sort of existential, so I'm very familiar with existential feelings. Um, so I just sort of used it as a prompt and, and build a track from there. My sound's definitely in the sort of ambient droney world. Um, I use a lot of tape machines and vintage equipment, um, synthesizers, things like that. I think particularly for this work, where it's it's quite dreamy and surreal, yeah, the sort of ambient soundscape really, really works and sort of amplifies that layer of the work. I think I was really interested in bringing my community here into what I do. I invited uh, 15 of my friends to come in and, and join the work. I received overwhelming support from them, um, turning up eager and ready to go. It's just been fun and I think the most rewarding part about it is how much fun they have had dancing. It's so nice to be able to offer that to them, that they've found value in it. Having a mix of my personal life interact with my dance career has been long overdue.